So my friends, Watch OS 6 has been released as the final version to developers. And this is what you can expect to be able to install on yours. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the calculator. Now, this isn't any surprises. It's a standard calculator app, but it's nice to have this function on there. But it has got one unique feature, which I think most people will like. Now, if you click the tip button and you've got an amount. So for instance, here we've got 1,350. Now, let's say we want to add 15% tip, so we've just scrolled rolled up to 15% and then we go down and click on people and there were 26 of us. Now as you can see the amount of how much you're paying each has changed and as you can see it's now 59.72 each and so therefore that's exactly what it would be with the 15% tip. So that my friends is calculator. Next, we're looking at Noise App. Now, this is an application which measures the noise going on around you. Now, if you click on Learn More, it will also give you information about what is the right level of noise and what potentially could be harmful. This will also work with your AirPods, so if you wanted to, you can monitor and track the level of sound that you're listening to, just to make sure you're not getting these really high levels that potentially could cause you some damage. The settings section has also changed completely. It's now been redesigned so that some of the things which were harder to find, for instance like accessibility, has now been given its own menu section and so therefore you can click in and change those. You've also got access to the settings within all of the different applications which makes it easier to move and change things. With Watch OS 6, you now have the ability to delete some stock apps, which you couldn't do before. And like with your iPhone, all you need to do is hold, and the apps that you can delete will have a little cross above them. So therefore, you just click on the ones that you don't want. You can also get them back because there is now an app store directly on the watch, which I'll show you in just one second. One of the most popular features about the Apple Watch is the ability to change and customize your home screen. Now there are even more options for you. California is a really nice and very customizable watch face where you can switch between different colors and different faces. You can choose to have it full screen or even just a round screen in the middle. And again, you can change things like numbers or have it as symbols. Depending on which screen you have will depend on which complications you can change and how many complications will show on the screen. So for instance, with this full screen display, I can just choose two. And I've chosen to have the date as one and the battery as the other. Now, if I were to change it to the circular face, you can see that I've now got around five different complications that I can have. I can have the four corners as well as the event section going around just above the number 12. Again, I can change all the figures and have it customized to different shapes or symbols or numbers. Towards the top of the watch face, you'll see four dots. Now that's indicating that there are four different pages of customization that you can make. Now that can be anything from the actual watch face size to the different colors. Once you're in one of those pages, you can scroll on the rolling button on the side and that will then scroll through the different changes that you can make to each section of that page. One of my favorite new watch faces is Modular Compact because it's a nice, simple, clean design, but it's got five sections that you can customize. You've obviously got your watch face and you can have that as a digital read or a standard clock. And then on the other three sections, you can change the different apps that you have. One of the things which is really good about this watch face is that bottom section there where it's at the moment it's saying BBC News, that's quite a large section. So if you're wanting that for, for instance, your activity or whatever, it's a nice nice, clear, visible design. There are a few more that you can choose from. There's this one here, which is called Gradient, which I think works really well if, for instance, you had a solid color watch strap and you wanted one continuous band. There's this digital face here, which again takes up most of the screen and doesn't give you too much option for customizing, but you can have different colors and choose whether it's a solid number or an outline. And finally, there's the solar dial, which will track the sun going round. And again, you've got lots of choice here and you can add different sections. An area that Apple has spent a lot of money and improvements on is Siri. Now that is the same for the iPhone and also the watch. And now you're getting far more accurate information. Siri, give me the latest sports news. Here's what I found. 
So not only do you get the information coming through, but as you can see, I can click on open page. It will load the actual web page. And this is actually the web page, the actual web page. As you can see, it's loading. I've got all of the different links there that I can choose and I can get all of that information. So it's far better than what it ever used to be before. A new application is audiobooks. Now this is where you can go in and listen to your audible books that you've downloaded straight from your watch and control them from your watch and link them directly to your headphones or your AirPods for instance. With the introduction of Animojis in the previous release of iOS, you now have Animojis in watchOS. So you can go in and choose the different stickers, click into them and click any one of the variants and that will then send it as a message without you having to use your phone at all. Watch OS 6 for the first time has its own app store and that means that you don't have to use your iPhone in order to download and sync apps directly to your watch. Now this can be particularly helpful if you delete an application like I showed you earlier. You can literally go in and as you can see what I did there I dictated exactly what I wanted, search for it and then you can go and get it installed. You can also search by a category and browse through the different options available. So having the app store is definitely a step forward. Right, we've just got three more to go now and this next one is voice memo. Now this is really flexible because you can go in and listen to previous recordings. This is a demonstration of the recording on the Apple Watch OS 6. Or you can record new messages very simply. This is another demo of the Apple Watch OS 6. The default file is saved as recording 5 but you can click into it and then dictate a new one. Apple Watch Demo OS 6 2. And there you go, it's saved and will automatically sync to your iPhone. Apple Watch has also now got its own cycle tracking for ladies to track their menstrual cycle. Now, this was available on Apple Watch before, but now it comes as a standalone app for your watch. The final feature is voice activated time and that's where if you've got silent mode turned off two fingers will just read the time back to you. I use this feature in bed all the time because I can't be bothered opening my eyes. So there you go guys that's a dozen features in Watch OS 6 that you've now got and it's available on September the 19th so make sure you get downloading. Thanks for watching this video as always my friends and I will see you on the next one.